Welcome to SolidCam Professor. I'm Sydney, your SolidCam Professor, and in this session we'll be showing you the improvements that were made in creating change in our geometry in SolidCam 2009. We'll start off with our Auto 2 improvement. In our previous inversions, when we chose the automatic uh, constant Z or automatic general and we clicked on Auto 2, we would have to click onto a specific point in order to stop that chain, to end the chain at that point. A lot of times these points were very hard to catch because they were small areas and what we would have liked to do is actually choose an element instead and get to the end of that element. This is what has been done right now. We can choose, for example, auto to constant Z with auto 2. Now when I choose my first element and give it the direction, I can go now and choose my last element instead of the point. I'll choose the element and as you can see it went to the end of that element itself. Another improvement that we've done is in our multi-chain area. What we've done here is as follows. We've added the option of types called loops. Now in loops I have a filter I can use called loop filters choosing external loops and internal loops. If I were to choose only external loops then when I click on this floor over here I will only get the outside border of this floor without the islands in between. This is sometimes uh, necessary people choosing uh, geometry where they only want the outside border. This is a lot easier now to do. We also have the same option if we were to go back in here and choose the loops option and this time choose the internal loops. This time I will get every single island that's within the part itself without having the external uh, boundary picked. We've also made improvements on choosing text. Previously when we chose a text we went to multi-chain and we chose text and simply clicked on the text itself. And when I accepted it, as you see here, what happened is you would have, and I'll use this on the top view, you would have many small chains because of gaps within the text itself. So what we've done now is follows. First of all, I'll erase what I've done over here. And before I choose my text, I will go into my gap minimum and gap maximum. We've actually moved it now that we can have the gap minimum and gap maximum control within the choosing of the geometry instead of only in our area of uh, SolidCam settings. So if I were to say change now my gap minimum to for example point 0.1 and now go choose my text over here you'll see that my geometry is a lot easier now to work with. We have a single chain, there's a lot less jumping up, practically no jumping up, only between letters, and this makes it a lot easier now to work with the single line uh, text uh, which has gaps built in within it. This will actually join those gaps automatically by simply uh, keep keeping the gap minimum control over here. Thank you for joining us on SolidCamp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.